Hello everyone. Do you know cervical cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death in India? More than 1.3 lakh women are diagnosed with this cancer every year, and out of this, 75,000 women die because of cervical cancer, which accounts to nearly one third of total cancer death in the world, which is a matter of great concern. The most common cause of cervical cancer is infection with human papilloma virus. This virus is sexually transmitted from one person to another. In fact, this is the most common sexually transmitted infection. HPV virus has more than 100 serotypes, out of which 13 are oncogenic. That means they lead to different different types of cancers like cervical cancer, vulvar, vaginal, anal, penile, or even throat cancers. But The good news is that we have a vaccine for HPV which can prevent majority of this infection. And in India this vaccine has been licensed for its use since 2008. And now we have two kind of vaccines. The one is Cervarix which is a bivalent vaccine because it gives protection against two types of HPV which are 16 and 18 and which are responsible for causing nearly 75% of cervical cancers. The another one is Gardasil vaccine which is a quadrivalent vaccine because it gives protection against types 6, 11, 16 and 18. So we get additional protection from vulvar and vaginal cancers and also against genital warts. The vaccine is recommended for the age group of 9 to 26 years. The dose is about 0.5 ml which is given intramuscularly. and it is split in three doses which are to be given at 0 1 and 6 months there are very minimal side effects after this vaccine in the form of redness mild pain at the site of injection or you can have a uh, mild fever which is seen in nearly 4% of patients the efficacy of the vaccine has been proved nearly 95 to 100% in different different clinical trials this vaccine cost 2 to 3000 in india The only contraindication when you should not go for this vaccine is if you are pregnant, if you have any acute illness, or if you had sensitivity to any vaccine in the past. Now we found patients asking, "What is the need of this vaccine at this age?" Because we see cancer after the age of 35 years. So you need to know two important thing about the vaccine. Number one, the immune response in this age group is very good, so the efficacy becomes very high. second vaccine does not treat pre existing hpv infections so it has to be administered before the initiation of sexual activity but the bad news is that less than 40% of our adolescents are vaccinated with hpv one because it is not the part of national immunization program and second because of lack of awareness and now we know that vaccine is very safe and it has very good efficacy In fact, this is the most effective way to prevent cervical cancer. And with the successful implementation of HPV vaccine, we can reduce more than 50% of cervical cancer cases in next few years. But to achieve this, we have to cover more than 90% of our girls before the age of 15 years. So, who is responsible for this? We have to take the responsibility of our next generation. So, let's fight together against cancer. I have played my role by providing you right information for HPV vaccine and getting my child vaccinated. Now it's your turn to be a responsible parent and get your child vaccinated today. Thank you.